Would anyone like to see if they hesitate to guess why is Auckland, in this case, in some ways more special than anywhere else right now in the world? And it's, it's been registered as this. Um, personally, I believe that there's been a high level of energy um, that has entered into this place. Um, <clears throat> I say that from my own personal experience where we were actually kept away from this, from Auckland for a long period of time and then all of a sudden the, team, you know, the energy team that we worked with just said, OK, go. And we have just, we found so much easier the flow of energy and working with people and connectivity. Um, and I believe it's because now Auckland is almost like a, um, a torchbearer, uh, as example. It's, it's, a sh it's showing people how it's done. Yep, that's right. Um, I don't know if anybody else wants to. Yeah, I, I was just, that was really well said. I was basically going to say that I know that Auckland's kind of an enlightened energy centre of one of the big points of the world where it's going to start radiating out from. It's also to do with New Zealand, the, um, the old Lemuria, the new Lemuria, this land that's been well prepared and set aside um, energetically as well, and uh, Auckland placed where it is and where the people are. Um, that wave of light comes right through the top, the far north, and sweeps down to the main population centre of New Zealand, which is Auckland at this time first, and spreads out to the rest of the planet. Uh, and there's much more to come, and we're very pleased to be here and be a part of it, you know. The one thing is, it's very important that like teachers and people who are putting themselves out there to, to help remove a lot of the Piscean consciousness. Now, spiritual teachers hold a lot of Piscean consciousness on board and this is where the conflicting is and Aquarian consciousness is about joining and a lot of them, the reason they don't shift out of their Piscean consciousness is because they don't have enough confidence in their own information or abilities. A group of like-minded people showing themselves to be different. First factor, okay, to be different. Your truth and my truth ain't the same. It better not be. I don't want my truth to be the same as yours. We have some philosophies that cross over. Perfect. But our truth isn't the same and it should never be. What is it that we can continue to do to help ourselves personally and help each other as a community so that eventually we are actually, as you would say, smashing it so that... Um, that light consciousness becomes the maintaining frequency and beyond on this planet. We can trust. I can trust Wayne Morgan at 100%. When I do, no one around me I mistrust. And no one comes to me with mistrust because I trust Wayne Morgan. And that's why it's so important that spiritually like-minded people who already understand information and have some concepts of peace and love and unconditional that stuff really need to join with others and not fight against others, each other and not basically say, my information is better than yours. That's a crock of shit. That's a crock of shit, man. No, it's not. My intent is the same as your intent. Okay? That's it. doesn't matter about the information. That is irrelevant to the picture. It's the intent that is the power.